What's poppin' Gaming Nation? This is John Gamers 4 here on this beautiful Friday. So I did, of course, get out a little early <laughs> and uh, made my weekly trip to Retro City Games. So here it is. So yeah, um, I actually did pre-order uh, Tomb Raider Trilogy, you know, the remasters, which comes out today. It's probably already out, but uh, yeah, I got on the Switch. Really hoping they do a physical. So uh, Aspire, you know, the ones who are actually doing the remaster, said, uh, I guess they're not doing a physical at this time, but... I mean, same with the uh, Bomber Cyberpunk. You know, at first, you know, strictly digital, but then, like, they made the announcement, like, a month later, oh, it's coming out in December, so... Cross my fingers for Tomb Raider uh, remaster. Uh, physical. Oh, and uh, I guess there was a news article saying that <laughs> the rideshare companies are going on strike on Valentine's Day for some reason or another. So we're going to see if that's even true because that's how I'm going to get home. I mean, I could walk home, but sometimes you're a little too tired from work. So, yeah. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Alrighty folks, and on with the Game Scavengers Quickie Haul video here. Alright, so I'll show you what I got today. So apparently that uh, Uber strike for Valentine's Day, <laughs> I guess that didn't affect uh, Vegas. So yeah, I was able to get home, so that's pretty swell. Alright, anyways, go ahead and show what I got. Alright, so first game we got is Grudge Warriors. Fortunately, doesn't have the manual, but got it for five bucks. This was in uh, decent condition, so pretty happy about that. Next game we got Destruction Derby 2 on PS1 as well. So ten bucks complete. Not a bad deal. Alright. And next we got is Evolve on Xbox One. Only five bucks. Only reason I was kind of interested in this game because I actually did get some uh, some pretty cool pop figures from the Goodwill. There was actually a new Goodwill like down the street from me that opened recently. So I got like two cool pop figures that were video game related. Fortunately, they didn't have any video games, surprisingly. And, you know, I know some Goodwills will hide the video games behind the counter. But that wasn't the case, because they didn't have the video games behind the counter. And there weren't any in the DVD section. So, you know, they barely opened probably like a week or so ago. But anyways, we got... Uh, I think this is a Cyber Demon from Doom. Freaking cool. And then the other one is this big monster looking pop figure. I thought he looked really cool. I didn't know who he was from. Uh, I guess he's from this game. So Evolve. So that's why I picked it up. I'm like, oh, I got the pop figure. Might as well uh, check out the game. Even though I know it's like a uh, mainly a multiplayer game, but I think you can play single player as well. It's just not like a, an official like single player uh, campaign. But you are able to play it single player. So, yep. Pretty sweet. All right, and then also picked up a couple comics because I've been looking through the Retro City Games comics section. So continuing the Age of Apocalypse storyline, we got Weapon X, the Wolverine, and we got Excalibur, part of the X Men. So, you know, Nightcrawler, Psylocke, Wolverine. Pretty neat. And uh, another issue from the Age of Apocalypse storyline. So, yeah. Uh, altogether, it was like 22 bucks. I think they had a deal where it was like 2 for $1 on the comic books. So, yeah. So, I think it was like 50 cents for the 2 and then the one I probably paid full price for like $1. But altogether it was like 22 bucks. So 
yeah, not a bad dealio, man. Another uh, fine day at Retro City Games. And yeah, that does it for this episode of Game Scavenger Quickie number four. So until next time, love, peace, chicken, grease.